guys and welcome back to coffee with my sunshine today i will be joining in on a really fun and much needed collab with my friend heidi from happily thriving heidi she is hosting this really fun collaboration with a bunch of fantastic ladies here on youtube and this is called the summer living room refresh which i really really needed to do anyway but this kind of gave me the push to do it and joining in on this collab are um, a few ladies that if you haven't checked out their channel, I think you need to run over and I will have the playlist listed in the description box. But joining us will be Life with Christy, Casa Magnolia, Crystal Hansen, Border Bananas, Clueless Mama D, Inspired Living with Christy, Blondie Next Door, Living It Country, Desert DIY, and Erin Williams, and also Happily Thriving Heidi, of course, because she is the host. So if you would like to see how I gave my living room a summer refresh, please keep watching. So here I'm just going to give you a look at what it looks like right now. It's messy. <laughs> it's kind of boring. I don't have a lot on the walls. I've always struggled with this giant wall behind my couch. Um, but yeah, right now I, I didn't even clean up for you guys, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is um, what I have going on right now. And I think we are going to be doing a couple DIYs for this. And I picked up a few things from Goodwill. We're also using some things that I already had on hand. I'm just going to quickly show you how I saved a little bit of money with this refresh because I didn't want to spend a lot. Um, I just wanted it to look summery and somewhat put together. So these are the items from Goodwill that I recently got. And those hand towels I'm going to turn into... Um, throw pillow co covers. So first I'm going to start in this corner that just, I don't know, just needed something, needed some work. And then here's that awesome stool I got from Goodwill. I think it was only $6.99. And I think it was handmade. Like, I, I'm not sure that it was from a store originally, but I just couldn't pass it up. It has so much um, detail and character. So I'm just going to use it as a plant stand because I'm not sure it would hold somebody. This is the little stool that I got from Goodwill also. And it's awesome because it has um, storage inside and you can flip it over. And here are those towels that I got from Walmart. They were fairly inexpensive, but I thought they were really pretty summer colors. So I'm going to take an old pillow, not really an old pillow, just one that we didn't use. And I'm going to cut it in half and then use it as the inserts for these. And I can show you, I can um, do a video on these if you want. But I just went ahead and put ties on either side just to give it a little bit of a farmhouse look. And of course, you got to play around with the placement of the pillows until you get it just perfect. And I didn't show it, but I put the other pillow in the rocking chair that we have on the other side. And this is a cute little planner that I got from Goodwill. It was only $2.99, originally from the Target dollar spot for $5. It's actually one of my favorite finds. And I wanna thank Heidi so much for hosting this collab. I had a lot of fun doing it. And it kind of boosted me and gave me a little bit of motivation and push to kind of clean up, organize, redecorate, and give my living room a little bit of summer happiness. So thank you so much, Heidi. And I thought these cute little pink flowers would be perfect to give it a summer touch. And then this is the mirror that we're going to redo. We had made this for our bedroom and I used it for a mirror when I was doing yoga or learning yoga. Um, 
but we're taking it off the original fabric that we put on. And I know a lot of people love this mirror, but we've had it forever and loved it, but just needed a change. And this thing is giant. <laughs> so we're just stripping off the fabric and foam. And then here we're at my um, my family's shop and we're just taking some old barn wood that we had from my parents' house and we're cutting it down to size and planing it. And I think this process was really kind of fun. I'd never seen this done before. Um, it takes a lot of work, well not work, but a lot of the times through the planer to get it to where you get the old barn wood look off of it. And this is what it looked like. Originally I was going to stain it, but we ended up liking it the bare wood color. And of course we had to move the couch to get to the big wall. And my husband and I um, did a lot of research to find hangers that would hold this because this mirror is actually around 160 pounds. And we got these two hangers and both of them are supposed to be able to hold about 200 pounds each. So we thought that would do the trick. And here my son is helping us um, hang it because it is so bulky and heavy. And surprisingly, we actually got it up on the first try. I was a little bit worried. And here we're just making sure it's secure. And after looking at it, it was kind of frustrating because we realized it was over a little bit too far and we wanted it a little bit lower, so we might change that. But here is the final reveal. Like I said, it wasn't anything crazy that we did. We just wanted to add a few um, summer touches and finally put something on that wall. But I'm just going to show you how I have it decorated for summer. And there's my dog Bella just relaxing on the couch. That's usually her spot. And here's a little corner with a plant stand and my kitty in the window. My husband and kids made that sign for me um, years ago and gave it to me for Christmas. And I love it. It's one of my favorites. The ladder is also a DIY that we did. I have that on my channel. I can link that if you would like. Those, that bottle and those books are also a DIY I did. I'm really excited to have this mirror up um, for holidays and stuff because I can decorate it with garland or wreath or lights. I think it's going to be super pretty for the holidays. The entertainment stand is actually one that we found um, a business had it out at the side of the road and it was free so we redid that to fit our style. I think pretty much 
most things in our house are DIYs or things that we've made or redone for fairly inexpensive. Those succulent, that succulent holder is from Amazon. I can list that. And I have found that, um, that sign at Goodwill. It was originally from the Target Dollar Spot and I just painted it with chalkboard paint. Well guys, let me know what you think of my summer living room refresh and don't forget to check out the playlist listed in the description box and I will see you guys next time. If you're new to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing. I would love to have you and for all my returning subscribers, I love you and thank you so much for your love and support. I'll see you next time. Bye!